I can't wait to see Mom and Dad back in Petalburg City. Dad's really excited about the surprise birthday party he's throwing Mom. And she'll be extra surprised to see us. <laughs> hey, look, here comes Nurse Joy. Hi, May. Hi, Max. It's so good to see you two again. You too, Nurse Joy. My goodness, May. You look more like your mother, Caroline, every day. Thank you. And you certainly have your father's eyes, Max. Thanks. I guess. I'll see you at the surprise party. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye Nurse Joy. Joy. What was she talking about? I have Dad's eyes? Well, they do look like his. And she said that I look like Mom. You do kind of look like Mom. It's weird, huh? Why don't you have Dad's eyes? You're my sister, after all. Well, kids do look like their parents in some ways. Maybe Ciara knows about this. Hi, May. Hi, Max. What's up? May and I just ran into Nurse Joy on our way to Petalburg City. She said all this stuff about how we look like our parents. Like I have my dad's eyes. Oh, sure. We all resemble our parents in some ways because certain characteristics are passed from parents to their kids or offspring. Your eyes look like your dad's because of heredity. Heredity is when a parent transfers a characteristic like eye color or hair color through genes. Like the kind you wear? But, but my dad's taller than me, at least for now. <laughs> Not exactly, Max. A different type of genes. G-E-N-E-S. Genes are inside us and are like instruction manuals for our bodies to operate. They can determine eye, hair, even impact the way you walk. So do we have a couple that tell our bodies what to do? A couple? We have 25,000 to 35,000 genes in our body. Genes come in pairs and are made up of proteins that help build our body. They also have special jobs to do, like determining your eye color, your hair, or even how you'll laugh. Genes line up together like threads to create chromosomes. Chromosomes also come in pairs. All genes and chromosomes contain deoxyribonucleic acid. Deoxy what? Deoxyribonucleic acid. That's DNA. Everyone has DNA. It tells us what our bodies are made up of and what we'll look like. All living things have DNA and pass on physical characteristics to their offspring through genes. For example, a yellow flower can pass on its color to its offspring. But how did my dad pass his eyes on to me? Remember when I said all genes come in pairs? That means that every parent has two copies of each of their genes, but their kids only get one copy from each parent. So for things like eye color, hair texture, and everything else about us, you get one gene from your mom and one from your dad. So how did I get brown eyes and they get blue if we have the same parents? That's because one of the genes your parents passes down will be dominant. So even if Max got a gene for blue eyes from his mom and a brown one from his dad, he still got brown eyes. The brown eyed gene is dominant. Now for May's blue eyes, your dad must have had his own recessive gene for blue eyes. But the gene he got from his own parent for brown eyes masked that blue one. So dad must have passed on the recessive gene to me, just like mom did. Wow, so that means you can tell a lot from heredity. Like how tall we'll be? Since May and my dad are both tall but my mom is short, does that mean the tall gene is probably dominant? Keep in mind that other factors, like your environment or even your diet, can influence some physical characteristics, like your height. But as far as what you got from your parents, you're right, the tall gene is dominant. Other dominant traits are curly hair, dimples, freckles, brown eyes, and brown hair. So recessive genes would be straight hair and being short? Right. Other recessive genes are red and blonde hair, straight hair, being short, green eyes, blue eyes, no dimples, and no freckles. So did I pick out this outfit because of my heredity, too? That has more to do with your environment, May. Heredity only determines physical characteristics like hair texture and skin color. You might have gotten some style and fashion know-how from hanging out with your parents, but that's not your heredity. <laughs> so you have no one to blame but yourself, May. Very funny, Max. So things like our noses and hands are physical characteristics we get through heredity. But what about having glasses? Yes, May. 
eyesight is a physical characteristic and can be passed on through heredity. Yeah, and what about ears, feet, mouths, and even teeth? Hey, you guys are good at this. Why don't you try out those skills? Count, Count us in. in! Here's a picture of our friend Quinn. In the box that says heredity, drag and drop his different physical characteristics you think are caused by heredity. Cool! Can you help us choose Quinn's hereditary characteristics? In the box that says heredity, drag and drop his different physical characteristics. Good job! The shape and color of Quinn's chin is based on heredity. Good job! A person's nose is determined by one of their parents' genes. That's right! Ears are determined by heredity. That's right! Eye color is a hereditary characteristic. Good job! Hair color and hair texture are determined by heredity. You got it! Quinn's mouth is part of his heredity. You got it! Hands are a physical characteristic and are part of Quinn's heredity. Now, how about those dominant and recessive traits? Click on the traits you think are dominant. That's right! Brown hair is a dominant trait. That's right! Curly hair is a dominant trait. You got it! Brown eyes are a dominant trait. You got it! Being tall is a dominant trait. That's right! Dimples are a dominant trait. Good job! Freckles are a dominant trait. Cool! I want to figure out more about our own heredity, don't you, Max? Yeah! Can you help us determine our heredity through our physical characteristics? In the box that says heredity, drag and drop the physical characteristics. Then, drag dominant traits into the dominant box and recessive traits into the recessive box. Ready? Go for it! Excellent! You got it! You got it! You're right! That's a dominant trait! You're right! That's a dominant trait! You got it! That's a recessive trait! You got it! Excellent! Excellent! You got it! You're right! That's a dominant trait! You're right! That's a dominant trait! You got it! That's a recessive trait! You got it! That's a recessive trait! You got it! You're right! That's a dominant trait! 
You got it. That's a recessive trait. Excellent. You're right. That's a dominant trait. You got it. That's a recessive trait. You got it. That's a recessive trait. Awesome! I can't wait to get home to see what else Mom and Dad might have passed on to us through heredity. I hope I got Dad's incredible training skills and speed. I'm faster than you are, Max. If anyone got Dad's speed, it's me. Oh, yeah? Hey, wait up! Remember that heredity transfers physical characteristics. Your environment determines clothes and accessories. Remember that some traits are recessive. If you get a recessive trait from your dad and a dominant trait from your mom, the dominant trait will mask the other. Remember that some traits are recessive. You would need the recessive trait for straight hair from both your mom and your dad to have straight hair. If one had the dominant trait for curly hair, you'd have curls. Try again. Remember that some traits are recessive. You would need the recessive trait for short height from both your mom and your dad to be short. If one had the dominant trait for tall height, you'd likely be tall. Try again. Try again.